I mean, like, whenever other people come on to guest, uh, guest host, uh, they will discover this lovely half-finished pumpkin patch and uh, they can appreciate it and be like, who built this? And I'd be like, Snoop built that. Snoop did it. He had a building qualification and everything. He taught me the ways of how Coca-Cola ruled the entire earth and were basically higher than a god. Yeah. Now that, that's, that's some pretty true fun story. stuff. 100% true, factual, scientifically proven story. Wow, scientifically proven. Yeah, they actually found, um, they actually found skeletons of, uh, Coca-Cola's employees. Wow. <laughs> uh, estimated from about 100 billion years ago. Just, wow. That's a lot of years ago. Yeah, I almost believe it myself, but... So, how old must there be? There's too much proof. <laughs> and there's the question again. Who made Coca-Cola? Well, uh, basically, the answer to that question can't actually be known until you've reached the uh, stage seven of enlightenment. Oh, okay. Um, because uh, your brain can't handle it, because it has too many demons inside it. Oh, okay. But who made the demons? Coca-Cola made the demons. Coca-Cola, okay. So is it just like a vicious cycle of demons and Coca-Cola? Basically what the demons do is um, Coca-Cola made demons and put demons in their first batch of drinks. Okay. To um, basically, um, well they absorb your soul. Right. Uh, and then the soul is like, travels up to a crystal ball in Coca-Cola headquarters. Okay. And then uh, basically they watch everything that you're doing so they can monitor whether you like Coca-Cola or not. So right. then if they know, don't, uh, don't, if you don't like it, then uh, they can change it and stuff. They can change the recipe and all that. So yeah. Okay. Most people call them uh, cookies instead of souls, but you know. Cookies? Are they in Minecraft? Yeah. Uh, no, they're in uh, most web browsers. Oh, okay, okay. So, what about the cookies in Minecraft? They're not souls. No, they're not actually uh, souls. Oh, wow. No. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, at the moment, I am building the... Um, thingy-majiggy. Yes. That. Wait, hang on, this is. Yeah, I think this is the Great Hall. The Great Hall's pretty damn big, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, I don't even know why I still have this pumpkin on my head. I'm gonna take it off now. Have you got the uh, texture pack on? No, I couldn't get it to work. Ah, because I think if you wear a pumpkin, it looks like a pumpkin. Now, um, another version of this texture pack uh, had a, um, if you put the pumpkin on, it would give you like Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> nice. And then like some spells and shit. Oh my god, the bows and arrows in this texture pack are brilliant. It's just like a wand and spells. Oh, I know. Yes. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, right, it's important I get this right or I'm screwed. Because this, like, sort of area has to be correct or else the uh, great hall will be wrong. Don't need great hold to be wrong, that's the most, no. most important bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be right. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Okay, I think I've got this. How goes the pumpkin patch? Hello? The pumpkin patches are going well. It's uh, not exactly, no, it's not an exact copy of the pumpkin patch. It's uh, got some sl very, very slight differences in it, but it's, it's not really much to worry about. Okay. Slight differences are probably okay, but you need like a proper pump. Oh, fuck. Okay, this square's going to be a bit smaller than it should be, um, because I may have miscalculated the fact that I had to do the inside as well. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's a bit lower than I thought it was. I got this, I got this though. It's all good. So I think uh, maybe at the end, when uh, Hogwarts is actually finished, we can get everyone who's ever been a guest on here online just to appreciate well, I mean, it. If you're still alive, that is. If I'm still alive. Um, because I'm gonna get murdered by Coca-Cola, or you, or by the Mexican cartel. That's also a possibility. Or I could get murdered by the United States government, because if I do actually murder Donald Trump, then I could be murdered straight after. And that's not really something I, I want to be have done to me, because uh, I do enjoy your living. But I mean, it would be worth it though, because you'd be reached like stage 7 of enlightenment. I would. And that's like, good. it's the highest honor a uh, man can have, other than stage 8, 9 and 10. Oh wow. I mean, what happens at the end of all these stages? Mm. Or am I not allowed to know yet? Well, um... Basically, uh, we tell you that the whole uh, process was pointless, you didn't learn anything, the whole thing is made up, and uh, you cry and go home and realize that you've wasted your whole entire life. Oh. Well, shit. Well, I'm glad you've slipped that out now, because uh, now I don't have to do it, although I have stage one of enlightenment, and I kind of feel good about that. It makes me feel enlightened. I mean, I've only reached stage 9, but I'm working towards the final stage. Do you become Super Saiyan at the final stage? Who knows? No, nobody knows. Has anyone ever reached Except the final stage? Tom is Tom Cruise the final stage? Tom Cruise has reached the final stage, yeah. Is he the boss fight? Tom Cruise is the boss fight, yeah. Shit. Is he spawned that? Do you like know of any of his moves? Any weaknesses? Because if I'm going to make it, make it to stage 10, then I'm going to have to fight Tom Cruise. And this could be bad. Hello? Well, I mean, uh, you're going to have to figure it out for yourself, to be honest, uh, because... Like I said, I'm only on uh, stage 9, working towards uh, stage 10, so uh, I haven't really uh, thought to myself yet. Surely all of these stages that you've been working towards have given you some insight in how to defeat Tom Cruise, the final boss. Well, uh, you'd think that, but um, Tom Cruise is so uh, mysterious and secretive. Uh, did you know no human being has ever seen Tom Cruise? Really? 